three, two, one. Hi you guys, I'm Lindsay and welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today, don't be mad, but we are combining makes and plans for the month of, well, makes of November and plans for December, simply because I didn't really make that much. Not enough to warrant its own video. It would be like a 30 second video, which I know you guys don't want. So we're combining make some plans because I kind of feel like those two things go hand in hand. Um, as you know from my previous makes videos, I was sewing up a storm. Like that one month I had like 10 or 12 different things that I had made. So it only made sense that like the brakes <laughs> got pushed and everything kind of came to a bit of a screeching halt that has a lot to do with the holidays, a lot to do with the weather here, a lot to do with my schedule. Um, so I just really wasn't sewing as much as I had been, which is fine. I don't need to make 12 things a month every single month. That would just be insane. Um, but like just was not really feeling super motivated to do my works in progress bin because those are all like springtime clothes and it was just getting colder here and I knew I wouldn't be able to wear them so the motivation was lost there um and then I started going down a path and I couldn't get off the path I was just very very focused so the only thing that I made is four muslins <laughs> of ginger jeans and I knew I've talked to you guys about pants. Me and pants, we don't get along. Ready to wear pants hate me. And thus far, sewing pants wasn't that much better. But I made a commitment after I won the ginger jeans party contest on Instagram, or giveaway, it wasn't really a contest. I didn't have to do anything special, just entered and followed and liked and commented or something, um, that I was gonna give it an honest go. And so I did. Um, and I ended up needing to make four different muslins to get to a place. Well, I made three muslins out of muslin and then made a fourth pair out of the denim that I'm going to use just to see how the stretch denim acted in the pattern. Cause you know, the regular muslin fabric is not stretchy at all. I just wanted to make a muslin there out of the denim too. Um, kind of like just basing it all into place just to see if it was going to work. If the alterations I had made were on the regular muslin were going to work in the denim too. Wow, why was that so complicated to explain? So that's really all I have to show for it. I'm not going to talk too much about the ginger jeans and the alterations I made because I just, it's so much. I mean, obviously four muslins is a lot of altering um and i just want to give it its own video <laughs> um i learned a ton in the process like a lot i actually feel like i could tackle any pants pattern now which is crazy but i just know which alterations i need for my body and i know how to identify them and i can explain all of that much better in a full video dedicated just to the ginger jeans. As a side note, I did also order the Ames pattern from Cashmereette. Cashmereette is a plus size curvy girl pattern company. Um, so I'm interested to, to compare the two. So I will do a video just about ginger jeans and the alterations I had to make for me. Um, for that and then I'll do a separate video comparing ginger jeans and Ames jeans and kind of maybe give some input as to which one I thought I think might be better depending on which fitting issues you typically have if you're like me um for me it was front thigh was huge and full seat is huge um, and then a bunch of other little adjustments. So once I get the Ames jeans, I hope that's actually what they're called. Yeah, Ames jeans. Okay, good. Um, so once I get the Ames jeans, I'll be able to look at the pattern pieces and tell if they are going to be more accommodating in the seat or more accommodating in the front thigh and just say, who knows, maybe they're very similar and 
you know, if you have specific issues like me, which, which is the front thigh and the full seat, um, it doesn't really matter which of the two patterns you get, but maybe they will be different. I know that the Ames jeans does cater toward choosing either an apple shape or a pear shape, which is kind of cool. Um, but I don't know what that's going to mean in terms of the actual pattern design. So all that to say, stay tuned. I have a lot more information coming about jeans, um, for curvier pear shaped people like me. I am in no way a fitting expert, so I'm not going to be able to help really that much, but I am going to be able to tell you what I did, why I did it, and how I did it. And hopefully that will be helpful to some of you out there. So that's my spiel about makes. <laughs> um, and then for plans. Okay. So for December, I have my Cali Fabrics blog post that I'll be putting up on the, well, I'll be sending to them on the 15th. I'm not sure when they'll post it, but for that is a New Year's Eve outfit. And I'm super excited about it. I've already sewn part of it. Um, and it's turning out exactly like I wanted. Some of you are going to be a little freaked out and think, okay, it's official. She's lost it. But I haven't. There's a method to my madness. I have a plan and I think it's I, I think it's gonna be really, really cute and really awesome. So I'll show you the fabric. Um it is this rainbow sequence. Yes, you are seeing that right. Rainbow and then these little itty bitty 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 sequins. Um so I love this fabric. It's exactly what I was looking for. I'm so happy I found it at Cali and just can't wait to show you what I'm going to be making. I have a whole outfit, um, maybe with only this fabric, maybe with other fabrics. I don't want to tell you too much information about it. Um, I did post a little bit about it on my Instagram story. So if you follow me there, you probably have a clue. But if not, what are you waiting for? You should be following me on Instagram so that you can get all the insider info as I'm working on projects. Um, so that is a plan that is going to be up on the Cali blog soon. Um, another plan that I have for December is some holiday decor. So I got the Cricut maker machine, the one that cuts fabric and you guys, I have not been able to stop. It is like a serious problem that I have, um, thinking up all the different things and ideas that I can cut with the maker machine, um, with the Cricut maker. And it's just been so great. So I made tons of holiday decor some with fabric, some with paper, some with iron on vinyl. Um, and it's super, super, super cute. So I can't wait to show you those. Um, but yeah, I've got a, like some pillows and some wall art and some framed art. Like honestly, I've been going crazy. So once I get all those things finished and sewn up and like ready to go, I'll do a video to show you kind of what I've been working on um with that so that's been fun because like decor is not normally something that i ever think of sewing you know mostly a garment sewer it's been really nice because you come home and you see your makes like out um in the living room or wherever you put them and that's kind of cool like you don't have to just go in your closet and see your makes in the closet you can see them all kinds of different places so that's been really fun and um, it's been really kind of different to kind of be like, oh, see that thing on the wall? I made that. Or look at those pillows. I made those. Um, so that's, that's fun to have around. So yeah, some holiday decor. And I think I'll be trying to do some more of that as the year goes on. I don't have any specific ideas right now, but, um, but yeah, I think I want to keep, keep up with it and, and make some more decor items. So we'll see about that. Um, and then the third thing is using this. I found this gym, this gym of a dress at Goodwill. It is a kind of large, can y'all even see all that? 
um, I don't know, really big, purpley, kind of like the new Pantone color of the year, actually. I didn't even really realize that. Um, and I want to take it and cut it up and make it into McCall's 6833, the dress that I posted, um, like, not too long ago, the, it, it's the ballet dress and also my holiday dress, the gold and white one that I filmed in front of the tree. Um, I want to make a version of that out of this and I think it will be so elegant and so cute um, out of the velvet. This has a little bit of stretch to it, but not too much. So I feel like it will still be, um, so, like, be able to support that, like, low bust line and those little, like, cups that it made. Um, but, I mean, you guys <laughs> loved that pattern, loved that dress that I made so much. And I did, too. And I knew that I really liked it. But I don't know. Having you guys, like, support it so much kind of validated it for me. Because sometimes I'll make something and I'll love it. And... Do you ever like make something that you really like and then you wear it for the first time and you don't get any compliments and then you kind of go, well, I don't know. Is it not that cute? Um, I do that sometimes, but then you make something and you wear it for the first time and like you get tons of compliments all day and you're like, yeah, like this is a really cute dress. So that's how I feel about M6833. So I want to make another version. And I just think Velvet is having such a moment right now and there's still plenty of time to wear it even though the holidays are past. Like this is a color of velvet that I think transcends like a holiday or even really a season. Um, I feel like you could wear this in fall, in winter, um, even spring depending on what you wear it with and how you style it. I don't know. I think it could be really cute. So I am excited to transform this really large long dress it has lots of fabric because it's so long I mean look at that that's like half a yard or something right there um so I think I'll have plenty of it to make that dress because that dress has a lot of little pattern pieces too which is also really good anyway so a little refashion on the way out of this is also in the plans for December so that is everything that I have made in November womp womp but once I get those jeans that jeans pattern figured out it's off to the races I'm making pants like it's going out of style um because I've literally never had pants that I liked ever um so I'm super excited um and then lots of fun plans for December I kind of love this time of year because you make things you wouldn't normally I mean whenever else would I pick up rainbow sequin fabric if not in December I have no idea. So, um, so yeah, so yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to be a fun month of sewing and can't wait for you guys to see everything. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're here for the first time and you've not subscribed yet, don't know what you're waiting for, please click the subscribe button. Um, you'll get notified whenever I post new videos and can stay up to date with everything that I am doing and thinking and making and all of that. So thanks so much for watching y'all. I will see you next time. Bye.